Hello, everyone. Thank you for the introduction, Jacob. So, yeah, my name is Judith Amores Fernandez. I think in the program is Judith Fernandez, but never mind. I have two surnames. So, uh, today I'm going to talk about HoloArt. So, it's a project that I did uh, over the summer at Microsoft Research. So, it's painting with holograms in mixed reality. My mentor uh, was Jaron Lanier, so it was an honor working with him, uh, a pioneer in the virtual reality uh, world. Um, and basically, at the beginning, I'm gonna just show a little bit of the video so you understand more or less how, uh, what's the project about. And also, if I have some issues with the demo, at least you have uh, some knowledge of how it's gonna work. Okay. So yeah, it's painting with holograms in make reality. And it's a new media art that explores the use of holograms in mixed reality for creative self-expression. And it turns the physical environment into a canvas where the holograms and the physical objects coexist. And then we also do the spatial mapping that mixes the, and the, the, the digital content and it's also anchored to the physical space. We don't use any hand controllers. Everything is just hand tracking. And you basically can see how the content dynamically changes while you're like moving your hand. You can also spray objects in the real world. And um, there is like an augmented bracelet. So this is the way uh, you can interact with the app. You can also spray on top of like three dimensional, uh, whatever, like mannequins in this case. There are like real uh, physics in the app. So um, you can spray paint, you can splatter paint in the ceilings and it will really fall down. There are different options, so you can choose the color, you can um, change different brushes, and everything is in the real world, so you can just walk around and, yeah, so there are like different tools, you can erase. Um, this one is inspired by light painting, the photographic technique. Yes. So I will try to set up the demo now. and hopefully it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stream the data that I'm seeing from the HoloLens. What you've seen in the video and what I'm gonna show now is not exactly how it looks like. It, in my point of view, it looks more bright and it's also more like three-dimensional, so it's a nicer experience. I encourage you to try it. I'll be outside after the, this stage demo so you can try. Okay. There is a little bit of delay as well, so. So you can see I'm moving and in the camera it looks a little bit delayed. So I'm first gonna scan what I'm seeing so then we can anchor the digital content. So what I like about HoloArt is that it's like a self-expression tool for creative, for, for creative purposes. So you can do, draw or like splatter paint or do whatever you want for like maybe fashion design or just like because you want to draw something in the air. And it's anchored to the real world so uh, you can just walk around. It's talking to me. I don't know if you can hear what it's saying. But there are like different instructions. So here you can see how the particles follow my hand. So this is like for the user feedback. And then I have the hand bracelet, so with the different tools. So uh, for example, I'm gonna start with air paint. I didn't mention that uh, everything is through voice commands. What they realized while designing the system is that they wanted to change the different brushes, so it was really useful just uh, say it loud. So for example, here I have this, and then I can, um, I don't know, let's say, Edit, edit, and then I can move it and put it here. Air paint. Let's see if you can understand what I'm drawing. Yes. 
So, can you read what I'm, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, um, acrylic. Acrylic, sorry, sometimes like the voice. <laughs> My presentation is not so good. So also another thing that I noticed while developing for the HoloLens is that all the content, it's like kind of far away. So I really wanted to interact with the digital holograms. And that's why I have like the direct manipulation with using my hands. Erase. So there are some sound effects. I'm not sure you can hear them. Air paint. Light. So I wrote, actually I, re I erased some part of the R and now it says AI in action, <laughs> but I'm gonna fix it. Um, acrylic, actually it was also kind of AI. So now AI in action. <laughs> and for example, let's say um, I wanna graffiti. So now, for, um, I think there is a little bit of delay, but you can see there is a mark on the floor. It's keeping track of all the surfaces, so I can, sur I can spray paint wherever. So for example, let's say, I'm gonna spray here. And the way I'm interacting with the content is just like pinching, so as if it was kind of a real graffiti. And then another thing is that, for example, if I'm painting far away, the brush, well, the spray is gonna be big, but if I get closer, gonna be tiny. So the size of the brush changes. Let's see, for example, here. I don't know if you can see it in the video because the opacity looks really low there. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can change the color. Color. Um, let's put it. Graffiti. Can you see the heart? <laughs> I think the color, color. Maybe. Splatter. So now, um, flashing paint. So actually the colors look way more bright in the HoloLens, you have to try, but I uh, hope you can see more or less. Air paint. So the way I designed the menu is just by layer, so you can go deep into the different brushes. And also, I mean, the, the, potentially you can also interact with the other hand, just touching it. Um, so for example, if you go to texture, texture, and then, I don't know, have like also different brushes like uh, multicolor. I don't know how I'm doing with time, but I could be here painting all day. So <laughs> let me know. Okay, sorry. 
So uh, let me just put the last slide. <laughs> Talk about AR and action, right? Here it is. Yeah, so uh, just thank you. And this is gonna be public next week. So we're gonna have uh, the domain holoart.media.mit.edu. You can also check it in my website. So juditamores.com holoart. And also it got accepted as a, a paper at CAE, so the main HCI conference. It's gonna be presented in May and it's also gonna be an art installation. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.